It's thought one in five people are having to borrow money just to pay for food bills and their mortgage. A new survey suggesting there's been a rise in the number of people going to friends and family as the cost of living crisis continues. Let's speak live to Heidi Chow and LBC News Director of Debt Justice. Good afternoon. This is really um, a sad story, isn't it? Because ultimately, it's a situation no one wants to find themselves in, especially having to go cap in hand to family, let alone friends. That's right. And actually, this issue that we're talking about today, household debt, actually Actually, it's been on the rise for well over a decade, and that's because incomes have been falling or stagnating during this period. And so increasingly, people are being forced into debt just to plug that hole in their household finances. And now what we're seeing is that with the falling incomes combined with expensive energy bills, rising living costs and high inflation, actually millions more people are having to take this step and having to be forced into debt just to cover the basics like food, energy and housing. But if you are in that situation, what is the best advice? For people who are finding it very difficult at the moment, moment um, and who are struggling with their household finances and in particular with debt, then there are debt agencies out there like Step Change, like Citizens Advice, they should get debt advice. From my organisation Debt Justice, we are campaigning for government action because if we see that the household debt crisis is a systemic problem and so therefore we need systemic solutions and we need government to take action. And we have to bear in mind, this is not people cutting back on fun things. This is like the basics. This is food. This is being responsible, trying to meet your bill arrangements. And of course, you need to try and cover your mortgage. That's right. Yeah. So people are going to debt just to pay for the basics. So this is people going into debt to pay for the food that's on their table, to pay to warm their homes this winter, to pay for the energy that they need to cook their food and for the the roof over their heads. This is all very basic stuff. And this is really pointing to a systemic failure in our economy that actually people are having to turn to debt to meet these very basic needs. And so this is not really a sustainable situation. It's not sustainable for the household financially. It's also not sustainable in terms of socially, because actually there are massive social consequences for being in debt and it can lead to more mental health and physical health and stress as well as affect a person's employability and productivity. That's why we're urging for government to take real action to tackle the mountains of unsustainable and unpayable debt that is building up in UK households right now because of the long-term falling incomes as well as rising prices. And this is a problem that is worldwide though. Other countries are also grappling with high inflation, soaring energy prices and debt from pandemic, uh, of course, uh, intervention. We've heard Rishi Sunak saying that he one of his priorities is to bring down the debt that the nation has so it doesn't fall onto the shoulders of future generations and the Labour leader Sakir Starmer saying that he would of course carry out uh, in government in a different direction if he were in power but there are no quick money fixes. Isn't that the stark reality we're facing not just here but around the world? Things are economically tough out there and there's no quick fix. I think you're right I think that ultimately we need to see transformative changes in our economy to tackle the fact that incomes have been falling over a very long term. We need to tackle loans stagnant pay. We need to look at the basic rates of welfare to ensure that people have enough to live a dignified life. But there are immediate actions that the government can take to deal with the unsustainable debt that's building up in the UK households. Um, And in particular, we are calling on the government to write off debts. Actually, their consumer debt is written off every single day in the secondary debt market. And so we're we're calling on the government to ensure that the benefits of this debt write-off that's already taking place actually benefits the people who are really on the front lines of the cost of living crisis, who, like you said earlier, are using debt just to pay for things like food and heating and rent. Howdy, Chow. Good to talk to you. You're the Director of Debt Justice. LBC News.